morning, everybody. This is Eva Salinas with Hernandez & Associates. And I'm Estelle Hernandez with Hernandez & Associates. Thank you for joining us on another YouTube video. This is the second time that we're going to be shooting this <laughs> video because the audio didn't work on the last one. So, um, I think we're just going to roll on into it. We usually do the intro. You know the intro. Let's get into it. This week, we're going to be talking about your leases and how it can affect your business whenever you are looking for a location. You've probably seen the thumbnail by now, uh, so you kind of have an idea of what we're going to be talking about. So, you know, when, when clients reach out to us, uh, you know, some of the first early things that we talk about is, you know, determining a location, right? Which location is gonna work best for them. And in this process, what they need to know is they need to speak with the landlord, the property owner, whoever their contact is, uh, at the location that they're going to be licensing to make sure one that they can get a license and two if you cannot get a license how can you get out of said lease uh, and this is going to be a huge one because the last thing you want to do is invest all this money in either remodeling a property you know renovating it updating it or even getting a permit and then you can't even sell alcohol there. And the reason we're covering this is because uh, there are cases or there has been a case where uh, the property owner didn't know that the applicant was going to put alcoholic beverages in his um, um, in his drinks their drink in their drinks and um and we weren't able to get the property owner information and by property owner information that uh, that we're talking about is information that the tabc requires that we submit whenever we um, apply for the tabc permit uh, so you know we were unable to complete our process because the property owner refused to give us the um the information that we needed to submit the application and it also had to do with um, the other types of permits that are w in the strip center you know we talked about uh, that where uh, if they are in the same strip center what type of businesses are there and in this case there was already another person uh, selling alcohol and that's the reason that the property owner refused but so you need to talk about all this when you're um, negotiating the lease um, you know we're not attorneys real estate attorneys cpas and but it's something that you should talk to your property your management company property owner whoever you're dealing with um, as you said uh, the contact person uh, because we will need that information and a lot of property owners are used to getting this they're familiar with this form um, that is required by the TABC um, as I mentioned there are um, in the past uh, the form has changed through the years um, mm. so there's less information that was required say 10 15 years ago and which is good but we still need to get that information in order to complete the process I think another uh, another thing to note here also is if you can have the conversation with that contact person to make sure that you're the only type of your business. Mm -hmm. So say you're a sushi bar try, and you're in a strip center, this is, if you're a standalone property, you obviously can't do anything about this, you know, who opens up next door uh, for the most part. But say you are in a strip center, if you can have the conversation with them to make sure you're the only sushi bar in the strip center, you don't want uh, you to spend the money, renovate a property, get a permit, everything's good, and then your neighbor opens a sushi bar right next mm -hmm. door, and now it's like, I didn't know that you were gonna do this. We've seen this happen with our clients. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So, I mean, you know, it doesn't even matter the type of food you're selling, just, just any like kind of business like your own, um, to you might reduce can put that, that conversation. On, you might can put that on the lease, I don't know, but you can ask. You know that you are the only type of uh, your concept is the only type that can be in that strip center or shopping center if it's a standalone building yeah i think that's yeah. anything else? I think that's if uh you have a permit that you need to like if you haven't seen our video before we were talking about the renewal grace period coming up and it's already going to be ending today actually march 31st uh, depending on when this video comes out uh, you need to make sure you've already got your TBC permit renewed. We can help you with that. Uh, we also help clients to apply for new permits. I am Evan. Oh, oh, oh. If you have uh, a permit uh, renewing in the future, you know, we're here to help you. We can get you on board on Ames, renew your permit for the state, city, and county. So don't forget, that's what we can do for you. Check out HernandezAssociates.com. I am Evan Salinas with... 
Hernandez and Associates. And I'm Estella Hernandez with Hernandez and Associates. Thank you for joining us on another YouTube video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, uh, check out our website, send us your comments on the website, your questions, and um, thank you. Have a great day.